Okay, so before we go on with this random Randolph Safe House 5, we're going to go ahead and go to Good Neighbor and do some shopping. We can go see Cleo! Just so. Cleo, I need more ammo. Sell me some ammo. I need it. And you can get some beer. How much beer do you have? Have you taken a drink? I have. You really need to take a drink if you haven't. Taking multiple. Good. Okay. I haven't been... I'm going to be honest. I have barely been paying attention because I've been entertained by everything that's going on on the on the news... Or on the, the, the thread conversation. It's been highly entertaining. I have a bustle in my hedgerow. Will you inspect it? Um... I'm going to leave this one to be, man, Grandfather. You you guys what, have fun with that. Hmm? Cleo. I hope Hotel you're Rex buying. Hotel. Even a girl with an arsenal full of weapons needs to make a living after all. You know something? I've I've read a, a, uh, a yaoi that started that way. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm an undercover porn star. Don't tell. Fair enough. Got some rounds. Yay. Ever been to kill or be killed? <laughs> Fine looking weapons. You'll never be a star if you keep covering on. Keep the covers on. No, I'm not. Huh. I haven't, I haven't actually been by this. Uh... You haven't been here. So you're going to go to the railroad location? Yep, and then run south of it. Unless you find out that way is, like, terrible. We'll find out. You know, there's one place that you haven't been. You haven't been to that one location where you sit there and you cross a, uh, a, uh, a, 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 a over water on a path that has a bunch of fucking mire lurks around it. Causeway, bridge. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a high rise bridge. It was. It was like on water level. Oh yeah, I think I know what you were talking about. Yeah, that thing. By the uh, police station and the uh, or the. I National have no Guard idea Army. where in the hell it is, but I know that it's a thing. And there's like a, there there's a, food stand of some sort. And another, there, there's a couple food stands or some such in the vicinity. And oh, this uh, legendary glowing rad stag. I don't even fucking know. Oh, there's one attacking you too. Hitting you. I think that was that, it too. No, that was not the rad stag. We're gonna take his meat anyway. Exterminator synth arm. Better in our hands anyway. We got just got attacked by a deer. A two-headed deer. Yeah. That's true. You wait until Bambi comes at you with two heads, and you sit there and you say, "Oh, it's just a deer." Fact. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, we're going this way. Random two-headed deer. I don't even know anymore. Wow. The man, you, you you sold Billy the fridge kid and you killed his family? That's just terrible. That's harsh, man. Rough. I swear, you, you meet all you meet all sorts in this wasteland. You do? It's just, you know. You know, I, I'm going to be honest. Pretty much like 90% of what's said on here, I just take with a grain of salt. And I'm just kind of like, yeah, okay. Just people being... Just people being, yeah, whatever. But really, really, I only have... I have a couple hard lines where if somebody says something, I'll just shut it down. But, uh, you know, most of it, I'm just like, eh, eh. Whatever. Oh, there's Yao Guai. Which, you know what? Hmm... Where is the Yao Guai? Oh, there it is. I don't know. He's stunted over there. Oh, man. I almost... Wait, two of them? You know, I kind of feel but You just killed a mated pair of Yao Guai. How do you like that? How do you feel about this? Oh, God. Revere Beach Station. You think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and lie? I've never lied about anything. You know something? Grunt fodder and B-Man. I don't think that you've lied. I don't think any of us have lied. I think that everything is with a grain of, grain of salt. 
Gandalf is, you know. Package two is away. Runner took some fire along the way back. Touch and go, but our doc says he's gonna make it. We could really use some supplies over here. Any chance the big D can let us come back? That's in? what they call me. Barring that, we need some more hostiles removed. Mr. Timms, out. Okay, I mean, here's the thing. 90% of what people say online is true to a grain of salt. You know, it might be true for the moment, it might be true, you know, completely, or it might be total bullshit. Whatever. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, hell, that's how a pillar of salt is made, isn't it? I don't even know. Grunt fodder. You're gonna be a plantain at this rate. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you know. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, it, when I say a grain of salt, it's like, it's, it's kind of like when somebody gives you constructive criticism, you take it with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes that salt makes it sweet, sometimes that salt makes it salty. Who is shooting at me? A raider. You know who that raider vaguely reminds me of? What's his name? Trevor. Fucking Trevor. Magical Trevor? No! Trevor from Grand Theft Auto! Oh, okay. Trevor, he had that hair thing! That... Yeah. He looked like most of my relatives. Only most of my relatives don't live in trailer parks, sad. You know, as a, as a point of difference. They all have receding hairlines, is what I'm saying. I'm not sure what we've walked into, but you know what? I'm okay you know, with it. I don't it. know what we've walked into, but I know what's going to end it. Me. Oh, you just... And Piper. I do not fit in my salt shaker. Ah, so B-Man, you're kosher. <laughs> ah, sorry. I'm gonna be honest, I don't choose to be salty. Actually, I, I I prefer if if I were to call myself any spice in the cabinet, I'm probably cayenne pepper. Fair enough. Either that or Cajun seasoning, which is just like a, a, a full combination. And I you know. Alright, who's left? This dumb motherfucker with baseball bat. How'd that work out for you, buddy? Came to a party with a baseball bat. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna let Piper deal with that. You know, B-Man, if you snort salt through your eyebrow eyeballs, um, rough. Huh? You, I think that if you Ooh, the body disappeared, the head hang out, hung out there. Oh no, there's the corpse! I just have to watch this because oh. <laughs> it's beautiful when a physics engine goes so wrong. Oh, I love it when the physics engine goes all, all. What the what? Oh, there's a mutant hound. What the hell is a mutant hound doing here? Dying. Um. Yeah. Besides the obvious. <laughs> Waiter, there's too much pepper in my paprikash. And, B-Man, your snipe's kicking in. Well, B-Man, if you're calling it calling it here, have a good night. A sharp pool cue. Get some drugs you're the for later trading. You're the only person who's gonna know whether or not uh, to the right. No, to the right. No. There. There we go. Book return token. <laughs> B-Man, you're the only one who's going to know if that was the night NyQuil cooking in. Yeah. I am totally with it. Completely. 100%. 100%, mate. Uh -huh. And another book return token. You know, I, I don't care. I don't have a problem with eating salt, but the thing is, is that 
There's so many other flavors that work so much better than salt. I mean, salt's just an easy go-to. I just like the like, variety. That's fair. Okay, we gotta clear out this room of various people. Unless you sit there and you've taken a lot of NyQuil, and you know you hallucinate with NyQuil, in which case, half of what you're seeing might be the NyQuil. I'm never entirely certain whether I'm hallucinating or not. I don't know that technically anybody does. I mean, unless they've actually sat there and said that you like are schizophrenic or you have hallucinations and you need to take medication for it. It's a difficult life. Okay, before I make uh, before I make the th the the third drink of the night, is this going to be a full or a? Let's do a half. A half. You try to make things difficult for me sometimes, don't you? I do. I don't flip a fucking jigger. Dang it! You know this is how bad things happen. Ah, uh, Ten Pines Bluff is under attack. Again? They're very popular. I, wait a minute. I think you need to say that correctly. Very popular. Usually with ghouls. Completely. Or or super mutants. Really, anything that wants to eat them. <laughs> wait, are the people from Ten Pines Bluff really like that needy? Very. Ew. So who is? I see people playing video games on the internet. B man. It might be bedtime. <laughs> the NyQuil might be kicking in. You see a couple. You see one person playing video games and another one making commentary about it, and a cat who's decided that he has to come and curl up on me. Oh, rascal! Who wants some? That part is hallucination. Don't believe the lies. You know, seriously, it's like it. it what are? Oh, rascal! Oh. What's up? He just rubbed his butt on my hand. I cannot pick up your glass. Hey, I'm not particular. Uh. No. No, you should be. <laughs> what are you trying to tell me about this cat? <laughs> he just rubbed his butt on my hand. <laughs> are we talking like... Hello, rubbed. Wizard. Like, like, hey. On my hand. <laughs> and now he's rubbed. Oh, rascal. You are certainly not a human. Yeah, you have, you have no concept of... You know, hygiene. You, you, you do. No, you don't have hygiene. Oh my gosh, you're licking my face. Ow! You're biting me. Okay. You've been watching Lazy Town Remix videos on YouTube for the past several hours. Hey, don't judge. I'm not even here. You heard it here, folks. Dave is okay eating cat poop. Are you kidding? That's, not, that's far from the worst that's thing. That's the I've... toxoplasmosis talking. <laughs> far from the worst thing I've eaten. That's it. Yeah, back in the day, you used to eat MREs. Fact. Hey. Uh. Don't know where all these enemies are, but whatever. I'm on a killing spree. What's a blood rage? Okay. Rascal, you're gonna need to move. Cat Mama's gonna go and wash her hands. And then make Cause Cat Mom cares. I appreciate you're, that. You're lucky. I'm just here for the murder. Okay. Didn't need that second shot, but hey, whatever, double tap. When in doubt. And have a beer.
was that? Who's still alive? Oh, this bugger. There's blood everywhere. Okay, I've killed everybody. Don't know why y'all lot were hanging around, but hey, whatever. Not my problem. Somebody's doing the twitchy thing. Uh, I think he's trying to come. Well, it's certainly working at it. Maybe he's trying to like, rub against that. that uh, I don't know. Might as well eat some food. There is blood everywhere, B Man. That's just how it goes. So I consider this a success just because we got to actually see what the whole deal is with dance. Someone there? Yeah, you're not my problem. I'm just gonna leave you to find your dead your dead friends. Cause really, you're not worth killing. Ah, uh, yes, he's wearing one of those automatic abdominal exercises, like the... Sh not the shake weight, but like the belt. Well, have a good night, B-Man. Enjoy your NyQuil night. Ah. Still hoping the Desdemona is going to give us our railroad rifle. So let's go find her. we doing? Dez, what's up? Glad you're with us. Randolph reports they got another synth to safety. That's two assists in your column. Happy to help. Pam's near 100% on Randolph. Her best guess is our people weren't infiltrated. But the station could be compromised any time now. So keep helping Mr. Timms. That's all she gave us was some cash. Okay, well, we'll just have to figure out what we're going to do, but I'm going to do a quick moment here. But hey, at least we got some experience. Okay, so at this point we have a Brotherhood Quest, which we're not going to deal. Um, the only thing we really have working is, oh, we have to defend Ten Pines Bluff. I suppose we can also check on Virgil. It's probably been long enough by now. Hopefully. If it hasn't been, you can see how long it is and always just, like, kick back. Yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. <clears throat> mm -hmm. One of these drinks, and I'm not sure which one, had an entire splash of rum <laughs> that was not, uh, measured. Oh, that's okay. It was, it wasn't intentional. It, it kind of, Splooshed and and just ended up in one of the glasses. I don't Go know on. which one. Just like that. 
<sighs> super mutants. Why does it have to be super mutants? Could be worse. Could be something like scary. Get him, Piper. <laughs> Hey, at least we're not having to hunt these guys down like the last time we did one of these. Yeah, like the last time you sat there and you went somewhere and you were like, oh my gosh, is this what we were, we're, we're dealing with like one raider? And it's also like 16 super mutants or ghouls and you're like, ah! He spent years building up an immunity to Iocane rum. You know what the funny thing is, grandfather? I'm not sure it was in his drink. Like, I don't know which one it was in because it splashed, and then I poured, and then I poured again, and I, I, I they're even-ish. Hey, if you need help, I'll help you. <sighs> Princess Bride is one of those movies you watch when I have to be away for work, along with Stardust. Stardust. There's a, there, actually, there's a number of movies that if you're, you're away for work, I can always sit there and go to. Uh, actually, another one of them is... Um, you're back. Is that terrible uh, movie Earthsea? Because Earthsea reminds me of back when I was in college, in undergrad. And back in college, I sat there and I, I, I would watch uh, Earthsea. It was terrible. It was not good. It never. I don't think that it ever. Have you ever actually read the books for those? I have not. We have one of them. We have the first one. We might actually have all of them uh, at this point. No, we, I know we have at least the first one. I don't know that we picked up the but before that. I know we got the Tales of Earthsea. Anyway, I, I've 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 watched Earthsea, the Tales of Earthsea, often enough. Who is this attractive fellow? Roguishly handsome with a little bit of uh, five o'clock shadow. Wait a minute! How did he get this outfit? Welcome back. He's had it in his closet for a while. But uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success. This is incredible. It is. Okay, the TV movie version—it's entertaining enough, but it isn't like it, it isn't like quality cinema or anything like that. But all that being said. Oh god, yep, it was mine. Any of this oh god. You want it. In the meantime, I have a lot of experiments to run. Dang. Okay. But yes. Uh it's it, it's entertaining enough. It's it, it it it's don't expect quality cinema, but it's an, it's entertaining enough. Okay? Let's say that about uh the the Tales of Earth Sea TV movie series thing. Um but I used to sit there and put it on when I was needing Ooh. like background music or background noise. Rocket science for toddlers. But yeah, I, I needed uh, I, I needed my my background noise when I was writing, mm -hmm. so I would often put that on because it's something I'd watched frequently enough that it was it was entertaining if I sat there and I looked up for a moment and and saw what was on screen, mm -hmm. but that ultimately. It was not going to sit there and, and proactively get me involved in it. So mm -hmm. so it was great background noise. And I, I think today it would even still be great background noise. It's, uh, it's special. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's it's not great, but it's it, it does the job depending on what job you want it to do. I mean, what, what, whatever function you want, it It'll, mm -hmm. it, it, depending on what you want the function to be, it, it'll do it. Um, I think I watched it twice, like full on, and then after that, I just kind of sat there and turned it on for background noise because <laughs> it worked. Um, <laughs> Virgil's <laughs> glasses better still be entertainingly broken. Actually, I didn't even see the egg glasses. On. I don't even think he had glasses. I would actually go so far as to say this. Nice work mm -hmm. bringing that robe synth back. Did the the glasses that he was wearing are the same as the glasses that Otacon, the 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 guy who stole them from Otacon wore? Ah, uh, yeah. Hello, father. Tell I think me. that Otacon's thief was stole. stole. After What's everything been? I've been through to find you. 
I think you already know. I'm sorry, Father. Of course. You're right. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. And they no doubt mean to free these synths in their delusion that synths are somehow sentient beings. You've been in contact with the Railroad, so you're aware of their misguided beliefs. They mean well. They mean well. They're only doing what they think is right. You dealt with Libertalia. That's the result of their selfish, short-sighted plan. Listen, son. Usually they are a minor nuisance, but lately they have become more emboldened. I'm afraid we've reached the point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location. I, I have a feeling that we're being need uh, to reacquire them before the railroad. Railroad? I was gonna go with pigeonholed, but you know whatever. You tomato, where tomato. Located? A small settlement at the old Bunker Hill monument. But it's important that we act on this soon, before the railroad has any indication we've tracked them. Dun -dun -dun. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the Sims. That would only complicate matters. Is this going to be the Battle of Bunker Hill? It is. <sighs> I'll act quickly. You can count on me. You'll have a contact waiting for you just outside Bunker Hill. Good luck. Optional. Inform the Brotherhood. Optional. Inform the Railroad. I think we know which side we're going with on that one. Wait a minute. Let's see if there's anything that's changed in the, uh, the voting. Nah, it hasn't. You know something? Why are you going to do this to me? I haven't seen the voting. I'm taking you at your word. You are. And I'm intoxicated. And do you know how fair. much trust that is? That's a lot of trust. Especially since I'm the one who's been making the drinks. True. <sighs> Sometimes it's rough. It is. Let's see. I appreciate the fact that we just got teleported directly into the railroad area. Working with compartmentalized information is a difficult transition for new agents. Tinker Tom's cooking up something. I hope it goes better than last time. Randolph Safe House has got another dead drop for you. Well, that's great. Can we got I talk a big problem. Something on your mind? The Institute knows about Bunker Hill. They're planning to recapture the synths there. The timing couldn't be worse. The old man's been sitting on those four synths. There's nowhere else that's safe we could put them. Maintaining your cover is vital. But this, the sacrifice is just too great. How much damage would it cause if we let them hit us? We're running out of places to hide our synths. That's why we put so many eggs in one crowded basket to begin with. So what would we lose? Four synths, Stockton, some of our best agents, and the inevitable civilian casualties? No, not this time. We've never known when and where the Institute would strike us next. But now we have a chance to turn the tables. We wait until the enemy is in position, then we hit them, hard. No one they send out comes back alive except you. Understand? Oh, is that all? Need anything else while I'm at it? No. Just keep defying the odds. We can't attack you. <sighs> we can't need to help draw but Desdemona snark. And then spring the trap. You'll know when. Snarky You'll probably redheads. have a coarser escort. Mm. You'll have to take him down. You've done you it say before, that like you know one. Still be dangerous. Only by, uh... Like you said, I've done it before. It's a risk. Artificial means. Have to take. So get it done. <laughs> I'm not a blonde. I'm not exactly a redhead. I'm not exactly a blonde. Piper, we're gonna go fuck some people up. Come on, Piper, let's go fuck some shit up. Um, you have to go deal with the miscellaneous item. I'll deal with that later.